Hi, this is Chris, and today I'm going to show you the sorting and filtering features of Universal Accounting. You can see at the top left corner of the screen that we are using the advanced version of Universal Accounting. If you want to sort a table, go to the table header and left click on the column label that you want to sort by. You can sort in ascending order or in descending order. Right click on the column header and a pop-up menu appears with more options. For example, to cancel the sorting again, or to optimize the column width automatically with best fit. You can also customize the view and show fewer columns. Select Field Chooser and pick the column you want to remove. Place it in the customization list which has opened on the side. To make this view the default view when the current accounting is opened again, go to Save Table in the Settings. Let's close and reopen the accounting to verify this. All good. The other way around, you can insert columns from the customization list back into the table. You can also sort the table by multiple columns. Click on the column header of the first criterion, here it's the date, then hold the shift key and select the second one, the amount and so on. You see that the rows that have the same date are now sorted by amount. Now let's move on to the filtering feature. Go to Account Sheets. In the blank fields just below the table headers, we can search for a value directly. However, if you need a more flexible filtering, maybe with multiple criteria, then go to Customize. This opens the Filter Builder. Enter all of the filtering conditions in the Filter Builder to narrow down the result to what you need. We remove the filter again by unchecking the box at the bottom of the filtered account sheet. We can also apply filters to individual line items of the account sheet. Noting that the filter gets applied automatically to all line items. This is a very useful feature. For example, you can use a date filter to get all positions and balances at a certain date. The filters that are active are also visible below on the left of each line item of the account sheet and they can be edited. Let's enter 20 in the document number field to search for an existing booking entry. The account sheet now shows all the entries made in that document only. This is it. Thank you for choosing IT Express.